for Q31 Deuteronomy D language, Hebrew. Date, 125 to 75 BC location, Qumran Cave 4. Deuteronomy 2. 24 Rise up, take your journey, and pass over the valley of the Arnon, behold, I have given into your hand Sion the Amorite, king of Heshbon, and his land, begin to possess it, and contend with him in battle. 25 Today I will begin to put the dread of you and the fear of you on the peoples who are under the whole sky, who shall hear the report of you, and shall tremble, and be in anguish because of you. 26 I sent messengers out of the wilderness of Kedemoth to Sion, 1, king of Heshbon with words of peace, saying. 27 Let me pass through your land. I will go along by the highway, I will turn neither to the right hand nor to the left. 28 You shall sell me food for money, that I may eat, and give me water for money, that I may drink. Just let me pass through on my feet. 29 As the children of Esau who dwell in Seir, and the Moabites who dwell in Ar, did to me, until I pass over the Jordan into the land which Yahweh our God gives us. 30 But Sion king of Heshbon would not let us pass by him, for Yahweh your God hardened his spirit, and made his heart obstinate, that he might deliver him into your hand, as it is today. 31 Yahweh said to me, Behold, I have begun to deliver up Sion in his land before you. Begin to possess, that you may inherit his land. 33 Yahweh our God delivered him up before us, and we struck him, his sons, and all his people. 34 We took all his cities at that time, and utterly destroyed every inhabited city, with the women and the little ones. We left no one remaining. 35 Only the livestock we took for plunder for ourselves, with the plunder of the cities which we had taken. 36 From Aror, which is on the edge of the valley of the Arnon, and the city that is in the valley, even to Gilead, there was not a city too high for us. Yahweh our God delivered up all before us. Deuteronomy 3. 14 Jair the son of Manasseh took all the region of Argob, to the border of the Jeshurites and the Machathites, and called them, even Bashan, after his own name, Havath Jair, to this day. 15 I gave Gilead to Machir. 16 To the Reubenites and to the Gadites I gave from Gilead even to the valley of the Arnon, the middle of the valley, and its border, even to the river Jabbok, which is the border of the children of Ammon. 17 The Arabah also, and the Jordan and its border, from Chinnereth even to the Sea of the Arabah, the Salt Sea, under the slopes of Pisgah eastward. 18 I commanded you at that time, saying, Yahweh your God has given you this land to possess it. You shall pass over armed before your brothers the children of Israel, all the men of valor. 19 But your wives, your little ones, and your livestock, I know that you have much livestock, shall live in your cities which I have given you. 20 Until Yahweh gives rest to your brothers, as to you, and they also possess the land which Yahweh your God gives them beyond the Jordan. Then you shall each return to his own possession, which I have given you. 21 I commanded Joshua at that time, saying, Your eyes have seen all that Yahweh your God has done to these two kings. So shall Yahweh do to all the kingdoms where you go over. 22 You shall not fear them, for Yahweh your God himself fights for you. 23 I begged Yahweh at that time, saying, 24 Lord Yahweh, you have begun to show your servant your greatness, and your strong hand. For what God is there in heaven or in earth that can do works like yours, and mighty acts like yours? 25 Please let me go over and see the good land that is beyond the Jordan, that fine mountain, and Lebanon. 26 But Yahweh was angry with me for your sakes, and didn't listen to me. Yahweh said to me, Let this satisfy you. Speak no more to me of this matter. 27 Go up onto the top of Pisgah, and lift up your eyes westward, and northward, and southward, and eastward, and see with your eyes, for you shall not go over this Jordan. 28 But commission Joshua, and encourage him, and strengthen him, for he shall go over before this people, and he shall cause them to inherit the land which you shall see. 29 So we stayed in the valley near Beth Peor. Deuteronomy 4 one now, Israel, listen to the statutes and to the ordinances, which I teach you, to do them, that you may live, and go in and possess the land which Yahweh, the God of your fathers, gives you. 1. 
Counter to what is normally seen in Dead Sea Scroll spellings, this scroll has fewer vowel letters than the MT. For Q32 Deuteronomy E language, Hebrew. Date, 50 to 25 BC location, Qumran K4. Deuteronomy 3. 24 Lord Yahweh, you have begun to show your servant your greatness, and your strong hand. For what God is there in heaven or in earth that can do works like yours, and mighty acts like yours? Deuteronomy 7, 12 It shall happen, because you listen to these ordinances, and keep and do them, that Yahweh your God will keep with you the covenant and the loving kindness which he swore to your fathers. 13 He will love you, bless you, and multiply you. He will also bless the fruit of your body and the fruit of your ground, your grain and your new wine and your oil, the increase of your livestock and the young of your flock, in the land which he swore to your fathers to give you. 14 You will be blessed above all peoples. There won't be male or female barren among you, or among your livestock. 15 Yahweh will take away from you all sickness, and he will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt, which you know, on you, but will lay them on all those who hate you. 16 You shall consume all the peoples whom Yahweh your God shall deliver to you. Your eye shall not pity them. You shall not serve their gods, for that would be a snare to you. 21 You shall not be scared of them, for Yahweh your God is among you, a great and awesome God. 22 Yahweh your God will cast out those nations before you little by little. You may not consume them at once, lest the animals of the field increase on you. 23 But Yahweh your God will deliver them into your hand, and will confuse them with a great confusion, until they are destroyed. 24 He will deliver their kings into your hand, and you shall make their name perish from under the sky. No one will be able to stand before you, until you have destroyed them. 25 You shall burn the engraved images of their gods with fire. You shall not covet the silver or the gold that is on them, nor take it for yourself, lest you be snared in it for it is an abomination to Yahweh your God. 26 You shall not bring an abomination into your house, and become a devoted thing like it. You shall utterly detest it, and you shall utterly abhor it, for it is a devoted thing. Deuteronomy 8 1 You shall observe to do all the commandments which I command you today, that you may live, and multiply, and go in and possess the land which Yahweh swore to your fathers. 2 You shall remember all the way which Yahweh your God has led you these forty years in the wilderness, that he might humble you, to prove you, to know what was in your heart, whether you would keep his commandments or not. 3 He humbled you, and allowed you to be hungry, and fed you with manna, which you didn't know, neither did your fathers know, that he might teach you that man does not live by bread only, but man lives by every word that proceeds out of Yahweh's mouth. For your clothing didn't grow old on you, neither did your foot swell, these forty years. 5 You shall consider in your heart that as a man disciplines his son, so Yahweh your God disciplines you. 6 You shall keep the commandments of Yahweh your God, to walk in his ways, and to fear him. 7 For Yahweh your God brings you into a good land, a land of brooks of water, of springs, and underground water flowing into valleys and hills. 10 You shall eat and be full, and you shall bless Yahweh your God for the good land which he has given you. 11 Beware lest you forget Yahweh your God, in not keeping his commandments, and his ordinances, and his statutes, which I command you today. 15 Who led you through the great and terrible wilderness, with venomous snakes and scorpions, and thirsty ground where there was no water, who poured water for you out of the rock of flint, 16 Who fed you in the wilderness with manna, which your fathers didn't know, that he might humble you, and that he might prove you, to do you good at your latter end. 19 It shall be, if you shall forget Yahweh your God, and walk after other gods, and serve them, and worship them, I testify against you today that you shall surely perish. Deuteronomy 30 15 Behold, I have set before you today life and prosperity, and death and evil. For Q33 Deuteronomy F Language, Hebrew Date 75 to 50 BC location, Qumran K4. Deuteronomy 4. 23 Be careful, lest you forget the covenant of Yahweh your God, which he made with you, and make yourselves a carved image in the form of anything which Yahweh your God has forbidden you. 24 For Yahweh your God is a devouring fire, a jealous God. 
25 When you shall father children, and children's children, and you shall have been long in the land, and shall corrupt yourselves, and make a carved image in the form of anything, and shall do that which is evil in Yahweh your God's sight, to provoke him to anger. 26 I call heaven and earth to witness against you today, that you will soon utterly perish from off the land which you go over the Jordan to possess it. You will not prolong your days on it, but will utterly be destroyed. Deuteronomy 7 22 Yahweh your God will cast out those nations before you little by little. You may not consume them at once, lest the animals of the field increase on you. 23 But Yahweh your God will deliver them up before you, and will confuse them with a great confusion, until they are destroyed. 24 He will deliver their kings into your hand, and you shall make their name perish from under the sky. No one will be able to stand before you, until you have destroyed them. 25 You shall burn the engraved images of their gods with fire. You shall not covet the silver or the gold that is on them, nor take it for yourself, lest you be snared in it, for it is an abomination to Yahweh your God. 26 You shall not bring an abomination into your house, and become a devoted thing like it. You shall utterly detest it, and you shall utterly abhor it, for it is a devoted thing. Deuteronomy 8 2 You shall remember all the way which Yahweh your God has led you these forty years in the wilderness, that he might humble you, to prove you, to know what was in your heart, whether you would keep his commandments or not. 3 He humbled you, and allowed you to be hungry, and fed you with manna, which you didn't know, neither did your fathers know, that he might teach you that man does not live by bread only, but man lives by every word that proceeds out of Yahweh's mouth. For your clothing didn't grow old on you, neither did your foot swell, these forty years. 5 You shall consider in your heart that as a man disciplines his son, so Yahweh your God disciplines you. 6 You shall keep the commandments of Yahweh your God, to walk in his ways, and to fear him. 7 For Yahweh your God brings you into a good and spacious land, a land of brooks of water, of springs, and underground water flowing into valleys and hills. 8 A land of wheat and barley, and vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive trees and honey. 9 A land in which you shall eat bread without scarceness, you shall not lack anything in it, a land whose stones are iron, and out of whose hills you may dig copper. 10 You shall eat and be full, and you shall bless Yahweh your God for the good land which he has given you. 11 Beware lest you forget Yahweh your God, in not keeping his commandments, and his ordinances, and his statutes, which I command you today. 12 Lest, when you have eaten and are full, and have built fine houses, and lived in them. 13 And when your herds and your flocks multiply, and your silver and your gold is multiplied, and all that you have is multiplied. 14 Then your heart might be lifted up, and you forget Yahweh your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Deuteronomy 9 6 Know therefore, that Yahweh your God doesn't give you this good land to possess for your righteousness, for you are a stiff-necked people. 7 Remember, and don't forget, how you provoked Yahweh your God to wrath in the wilderness. From the day that you left the land of Egypt, until you came to this place, you have been rebellious against Yahweh. Deuteronomy 17 17 He shall not multiply wives to himself, that his heart not turn away. He shall not greatly multiply to himself silver and gold. 18 It shall be, when he sits on the throne of his kingdom, that he shall write himself a copy of this law in a book, out of that which is before the priests the Levites. Deuteronomy 18 6 If a Levite comes from any of your gates out of all Israel, where he lives as a foreigner, and comes with all the desire of his soul to the place which Yahweh shall choose. 7 Then he shall minister in the name of Yahweh his God, as all his brothers the Levites do, who stand there before Yahweh. 8 They shall have like portions to eat, in addition to that which comes from the sale of his family possessions. 9 When you have come into the land which Yahweh your God gives you, you shall not learn to imitate the abominations of those nations. 10 There shall not be found with you anyone who makes his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, one who uses divination, one who practices sorcery, or an enchanter, or a sorcerer. 18 I will raise them up a prophet from among their brothers, like you. I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak to them all that I shall command him. 19 It shall happen, 
that whoever will not listen to my words which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. 20 But the prophet who speaks a word presumptuously in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or who speaks in the name of other gods, that same prophet shall die. 21 You may say in your heart, How shall we know the word which Yahweh has not spoken? 22 When a prophet speaks in Yahweh's name, if the thing doesn't follow, nor happen, that is the thing which Yahweh has not spoken. The prophet has spoken it presumptuously. You shall not be afraid of him. Deuteronomy 19. 17 Then both the men, between whom the controversy is, shall stand before Yahweh, before the priests and the judges who shall be in those days. 18 And the judges shall make diligent inquisition, and behold, if the witness is a false witness, and has testified falsely against his brother. 19 Then you shall do to him as he had thought to do to his brother. So you shall remove the evil from among you. 20 Those who remain shall hear, and fear, and will never again commit any such evil among you. 21 Your eyes shall not pity, life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot. Deuteronomy 20 1 When you go out to battle against your enemies, and see horses, chariots, and a people more than you, you shall not be afraid of them, for Yahweh your God is with you, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt. 2 It shall be, when you draw near to the battle, that the priest shall approach and speak to the people. 3 And shall tell them, Here, Israel, you draw near today to battle against your enemies. Don't let your heart faint. Don't be afraid, nor tremble, neither be scared of them. For for Yahweh your God is He who goes with you, to fight for you against your enemies, to save you. 5 The officers shall speak to the people, saying, What man is there who has built a new house, and has not dedicated it? Let him go and return to his house, lest he die in the battle, and another man dedicate it. 6 What man is there who has planted a vineyard, and has not used its fruit? Let him go and return to his house, lest he die in the battle, and another man use its fruit. Deuteronomy 21 For the elders of that city shall bring the heifer down to a valley with running water, which is neither ploughed nor sown, and shall break the heifer's neck there in the valley. 5 The priests the sons of Levi shall come near, for them Yahweh your God has chosen to minister to him, and to bless in Yahweh's name, and according to their word shall every controversy and every assault be decided. 6 All the elders of that city, who are nearest to the slain man, shall wash their hands over the heifer whose neck was broken in the valley. 7 They shall answer and say, Our hands have not shed this blood, neither have our eyes seen it. 8 Forgive, Yahweh, your people Israel, whom you have redeemed, and don't allow innocent blood among your people Israel. The blood shall be forgiven them. 9 So you shall put away nocent blood from among you, when you shall do that which is right in Yahweh's eyes. 10 When you go out to battle against your enemies, and Yahweh your God delivers them into your hands, and you carry them away captive. 11 And see among the captives a beautiful woman, and you have a desire to her, and desire to take her as your wife. 12 Then you shall bring her home to your house. She shall shave her head and trim her nails. Deuteronomy 22 12 You shall make yourselves fringes on the four corners of your cloak with which you cover yourself. 14 Accuses her of shameful things, and gives her a bad name, and says, I took this woman, and when I came near to her, I didn't find in her the tokens of virginity. 15 Then the young lady's father and mother shall take and bring the tokens of the young lady's virginity to the elders of the city in the gate. 16 The young lady's father shall tell the elders, I gave my daughter to this man as his wife, and he hates her. 17 Behold, he has accused her of shameful things, saying, I didn't find in your daughter the tokens of virginity, and yet these are the tokens of my daughter's virginity. They shall spread the cloth before the elders of the city. 18 The elders of that city shall take the man and chastise him. 19 They shall fine him one hundred shekels of silver, and give them to the father of the young lady, because he has given a bad name to a virgin of Israel. She shall be his wife. He may not put her away all his days. Deuteronomy 23 19 You shall not lend on interest to your brother, interest of money, interest of food, interest of anything that is lent on interest. 
20 You may lend on interest to a foreigner, but to your brother you shall not lend on interest, that Yahweh your God may bless you in all that you put your hand to, in the land where you go in to possess it. 21 When you vow a vow to Yahweh your God, you shall not be slack to pay it, for Yahweh your God will surely require it of you, and it would be sin in you. 22 But if you refrain from making a vow, it shall be no sin in you. 23 You shall observe and do that which has gone out of your lips. Whatever you have vowed to Yahweh your God as a freewill offering, which you have promised with your mouth, you must do. 24 When you come into your neighbor's vineyard, then you may eat of grapes your fill at your own pleasure, but you shall not put any in your container. 25 When you come into your neighbor's standing grain, then you may pluck the ears with your hand, but you shall not move a sickle to your neighbor's standing grain. Deuteronomy 24 2 When she has departed out of his house, she may go and be another man's wife. 3 If the latter husband hates her, and write her a certificate of divorce, and puts it in her hand, and sends her out of his house, or if the latter husband die, who took her to be his wife. For her former husband, who sent her away, may not take her again to be his wife, after that she is defiled, for that is abomination before Yahweh. You shall not cause the land to sin, which Yahweh your God gives you for an inheritance. 5 When a man takes a new wife, he shall not go out in the army, neither shall he be assigned any business. He shall be free at home one year, and shall cheer his wife whom he has taken. 6 No man shall take the mill or the upper millstone as a pledge, for he takes a life in pledge. 7 If a man is found stealing any of his brothers of the children of Israel, and he deals with him as a slave, or sells him, then that thief shall die. So you shall remove the evil from among you. Deuteronomy 25. 3 He may sentence him to no more than forty stripes. He shall not give more, lest, if he should give more, and beat him more than that many stripes, then your brother will be degraded in your sight. 5 If brothers dwell together, and one of them dies, and has no son, the wife of the dead shall not be married outside to a stranger. Her husband's brother shall go into her, and take her as his wife, and perform the duty of a husband's brother to her. 6 It shall be that the firstborn whom she bears shall succeed in the name of his brother who is dead, that his name not be blotted out of Israel. 7 If the man doesn't want to take his brother's wife, then his brother's wife shall go up to the gate to the elders, and say, My husband's brother refuses to raise up to his brother a name in Israel. He will not perform the duty of a husband's brother to me. 8 Then the elders of his city shall call him, and speak to him, and if he stands and says, I don't want to take her. 9 Then his brother's wife shall come to him in the presence of the elders, and loose his shoe from off his foot, and spit in his face. She shall answer and say, So shall it be done to the man who does not build up his brother's house. Deuteronomy 26 18 Yahweh has declared today that you are a people for his own possession, as he has promised you, and that you should keep all his commandments. 19 He will make you high above all nations that he has made, in praise, in name, and in honor, and that you may be a holy people to Yahweh your God, as he has spoken. Deuteronomy 27 1 Moses and the elders of Israel commanded the people, saying, Keep all the commandment which I command you today. 2 It shall be on the day when you shall pass over the Jordan to the land which Yahweh your God gives you, that you shall set yourself up great stones, and coat them with plaster. 3 You shall write on them all the words of this law, when you have passed over, that you may go into the land which Yahweh your God gives you, a land flowing with milk and honey, as Yahweh, the God of your fathers, has promised you. For it shall be, when you have crossed over the Jordan, that you shall set up these stones, which I command you today, on Mount Ebel, and you shall coat them with plaster. 5 There you shall build an altar to Yahweh your God, an altar of stones. You shall not use any iron tool on them. 6 You shall build Yahweh your God's altar of uncut stones. You shall offer burnt offerings on it to Yahweh your God. 7 You shall sacrifice peace offerings, and shall eat there. You shall rejoice before Yahweh your God. 8 You shall write on the stones all the words of this law very plainly. 9 Moses and the priests the Levites spoke to all Israel, saying, Be silent, and listen, Israel. Today you have become the people of Yahweh your God. 
10 Ye shall therefore obey Yahweh your God's voice, and do His commandments and His statutes, which I command you today.